Hello, and welcome to this fun little series we're doing where we work with all of you to show all of the things that Microsoft Copilot can do. I'm Donna Sarkar. I work here at Microsoft helping customers all over the world use Microsoft's AI products, which are called Copilots, in their own business to do their jobs better, live their lives better, et cetera, et cetera, all the good stuff. And my wonderful friend joining me from Germany is... Hi, I'm Sandra Agam. I'm a Java developer and I use Copilot now every day and I can't wait to show you how I use it. I'm excited for those cases. All right, so do it with us. Go to copilot.microsoft.com. We'll wait, go ahead. Trust us, you're going to want to follow along because you'll learn things the way we learn things while doing this. So once you're there, if you're a Microsoft Enterprise customer, go ahead and go over to your sign-in name and switch into work or school mode. You can use either mode, but if you're doing this for a work or school activity, you'll want to go into this mode where your data is protected. This means that your data does not leave your company. This also means that we don't save your prompts. So if you run across a prompt you really, really like, please save it in a OneNote, in Excel, or whatever, however you want to save it. Because we found ourselves reusing the same prompts over and over again. And by design, we don't save any of your data. Okay, so one of the issues that we've been learning about, not issues, but opportunities, is that every company in the world needs to get skilled up in AI, right? Yes. Including ours. Yeah, totally. Right. Totally. And we need to scale up pretty much every single employee in the company so they learn how to use the AI products to do their own jobs. Now, we've got a problem about that, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Like in Germany, we are using uh, Copilot so much, but the knowledge is like, fair enough, but we can definitely do something mm -hmm. about it here. So why don't we do a program for it? I think so that's a good idea, forward. because if we create a program here, then we can use it in every company all over the world, even. Sure. Right? Okay, so let's do... Create me a 10-week skilling program for AI for a large enterprise, let's say. A software enterprise, uh, maybe? That's true, that's for true. Developers. We, we do make software that makes software. Okay. Let's see, I've never created such a program. Mm -hmm. So I chose balanced mode, which is the default mode, because with balanced mode, there's, there's some opportunities, right? When you say precise mode, it's like precise, summarize this document exactly. Creative mode, it's brainstorm all these new ideas. Balanced was we want somewhere in the middle where I want a little bit of creativity, but I also want a 10-week program that teaches AI. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Look at this. It's generating some things. So it's saying, here's a program, Intro to AI Machine Learning, Data Preparation and Processing, Supervised Learning. Oh boy, okay, Natural Language, Advanced Topics. Wait, that really does make sense. Yeah. I wish I have had that when Yeah, I was learning all this. That's exactly it. Okay, so there's 10 weeks. Do you think we can teach this ourselves? Well, we are the experts here, mm -hmm. but I guess our management would like to know why we would mm -hmm. want to teach us ourselves, or maybe right. we could our, also hire, hire someone. someone to do it. Okay, so how about we make, we do like pros and cons. Um, what are some pros oops, and cons to doing this ourselves versus hiring a training company? So I'm actually quite curious about this because I would always think Hiring a training company would be better because we don't necessarily know how to train people. But in this case, we actually are the experts of this topic. But do we know how to train everyone in the company, like people in finance, people in HR? I don't know. Do we have the resources? That's right. That's right. Oh, look. Look at this. Um, train Doing it in-house. Pros. Customization. True. Cost. Mm -hmm. Yes. Control. Employee engagement. Correct. Mm -hmm. Cons. Expertise gap. This is hard to read. Okay. I am dyslexic, um, so I'm going to put this into a table. And this might help some of you who are able to process information in a more organized way. So you can put almost any chunk of words into a table, and it helps just like solidify into a pro-con table. I think this is easier to read. What do you think? Yeah, it's so much better. I have mm -hmm. it in one side, so I yeah. can totally see that. Yeah, so now we've taken this thing. We've asked a question, created a program. We have gotten both sides of the story, right? Is it pros, is it cons? And now we put into a table. So after looking at this, I kind of want to do this ourselves, right? Me it too. Sounds, it sounds fun. Right? I we can't can believe how fast that was. I, I mean, know, imagine right? we would have to come up with this. I mean, it would have taken us hours and meetings mm -hmm. to get so. Well, first of all, we'd have to research 12 things, which I don't want to do. <laughs> so we can go find some training companies, but yeah. actually I kind of want to do it myself. So mm -hmm. 
let's do this. Um, I want to do this ourselves. Let's mm-hmm. draft an email to the tech forward CEO because yeah. they are quite tech forward. We want to green light the project to the con- cost conscious CFO. We pretty much will need $5,000 because compute, right? Yeah, that's Mostly. always something. It's going to be compute. And then the CTO asking for time to actually do this. So let's reference this table. Mm-hmm. That way they understand why we're asking to do it and we're not just being random. So let's go ahead and ask this. Oh, look at this. Hope this email finds you well. So I guess I would never start something as I hope this email finds you well. So what I would do is just redo that first word. But overall, this sounds pretty legit. Um, I, oh, action items. I think you could even ask it to redo the, the greeting. Yeah, I could even say redo the greeting in mm-hmm. the style of your slightly goofy friend. Maybe I wouldn't <laughs> say that to an email to our CEO. But okay, cool. This is, this is cool. I like mm-hmm. this. Um, but I think we're pretty much on track wow. while we're kind of waiting for this. Um, I As a developer, creating those emails always took me so long. Oh, right. It's just so right. different from the usual work I'm doing. I, yeah. I'm creating emails like this mm-hmm. all the time now. It saves me so much time it and energy. It saves so much time. So one of the interesting challenges that Sandra and I are going to have once we take on this project is that we're going to have to create a ton of content to actually to do this 10-week training program. One of the main co-pilots that we like a lot is the Microsoft 365 co-pilot, right? Yeah. It's pretty cool. And our colleague Dan's going to show us some in a future episode. But first, we actually want to explain kind of how this works because it really is taking your data from the graph, your prompt, bringing them together, giving you results. So instead of us trying to explain it, we've got this fantastic video that the team made, and I'm going to use the co-pilot in Edge. So it's the same Microsoft co-pilot that you're now used to, Make sure you click on web and not work if you've got the Microsoft 365 Copilot. And I'm going to choose more precise mode because when I'm summarizing something, I want to be precise. I don't need creativity. So in context, I'm going to say create five bullets. Is that how you spell bullets? Yes. About this video. And now it has context of what it's seen. Now you can do this for videos. You can do this for PDFs. You can do this for websites anything that's in context of a window. So you can pull out that co-pilot and edge and ask for summaries. You can ask to generate a social media post. You can do lots of things, but this is one of those powerful AI things that I just don't think enough people know about. I mean, of course it works for text, right? So Mm -hmm. AI scans the text Mm -hmm. and then it's there, but I didn't really knew that it was actually also being able to to reference videos here. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. is it now watching the video behind the scenes? I mean, it's pretty come cool. On, that's it's so able to cool. grab the metadata and you know generate this right here. Here you go. Mm-hmm. You're like, here are five po- bullet points about the video. Explains the copilot system. Uses three foundational techniques. Um, starts with the prompt. Sends the grounded prompt to the LLM and post processes the response by adding more grounding. Perfect. Now we can just copy and paste this directly into our training and look like heroes. Oh wow! In I no time. It. I love it. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for the next episode.